Yeah, I'm just going to let that disappointment hang in the air for a minute. I know how to start a video. I've been doing YouTube for six and a half years. And I've uh, been watching wrestling for like well over 30. 36, and I get a lot of enjoyment for some reason. I don't know why. It's like a love-hate relationship out of, uh, out of wrestling. And, uh, you know, all I want them to do is tell me a good story. To me, it's no different than Marvel Comics or Arrow or, you know, I don't know, Horizon Zero Dawn that I'm playing right now. Like, it's no different than my TV shows, my video games, my movies, my comic books. Just tell me a good story, okay? And like anybody else, we all develop our favorites and uh, this is not about that, okay? Now, I will say, I am a, I'm a very big Kevin Owens fan. Uh, I think he's phenomenal. Even though they put a belt on him for a bunch of months, I still don't think they're handling him right. But we'll see what happens from here. So, it's WrestleMania season, and you know what that means. It's time to roll all the part-timers out from whatever freaking dilapidated crevice they've been hanging out in and uh you know it's not new you're probably made to feel like Goldberg has been around for months now ever since SummerSlam or was it SummerSlam or Survivor Series I can't even keep track anymore nor do I really care enough to research it um <sighs> Bill freaking Goldberg is the world champion like, it's not like, look, when, when in 1972, when he beat Hulk Hogan, like, I was right there with everybody, man. I was all Goldberg chanting it up. But, uh, I mean, that was like 700 years ago. And nobody cares. All right. Except maybe his son. Apparently, like, apparently we give out lifetime achievement awards. All right. My son's old enough to know what's going on. Can I just go get a world title run real quick? Like, is that a thing? Like, I mean, Hunter's kids are getting older, so maybe he's coming back for another title run. I mean, John Cena just passed Ric Flair. I mean, oh, the dog, man. That was that was, that was was lovely, Thor. Thank you. Um, I mean, lost my train of thought. I mean, why didn't we have Charlotte and Ric Flair as the only father-daughter combination currently holding world titles we could have done that i mean oh the dog he knows i'm making a video i'm ranting and it's like none of this makes sense man like why do i feel bad for the guys that go out there and ladies we got to make sure we, we don't forget the ladies i feel bad for the ones that are out there you know for 75, 80% of the year touring and doing all these house shows in front of 2,000 people, you know, and still giving it their all like they're on TV. And then they show up to the biggest day of the year and they're like, yeah, we don't have a spot for you because we need to find a way to get Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar some TV time and world title match because... Nobody else would benefit from having a world title match at WrestleMania. Like, we're at a point in time where where Roman Reigns, a guy everybody hates, is a multiple-time main eventer at WrestleMania, yet CM Punk has not main evented at WrestleMania. Like, seriously. That's a thing, okay? And, and here's, here's the problem that I have, okay? Like, again, just tell me a good story. And maybe listen to some of your fans. Like, the WWE has, like, this problem where they like to think that they're the smartest people in the room. And that nobody else could possibly know more than them. And it's stupid. Because, like, the fans are the ones that are putting money in your pocket. Alright? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, they... The Goldberg thing doesn't make sense. They pipe in the Goldberg chant... Even worse than WCW did back in the day. Alright? Like, infinitely worse. And, yeah, some people chant it, but uh, that's because they're lemmings and they like John Cena. I mean, 
It's the same thing as the John Cena effect. Like, all these guys that, that do work hard and, and all that stuff, like, but don't evolve, yet they keep pushing them down our throats. Like, Roman Reigns, I feel bad for Roman Reigns because there was a point where right before he got hurt, he had, like, a pretty big injury. He was white hot. He was super over. And then he got hurt, and he came back and, like, fizzled. And he can't talk, so he's not interesting. But, man, he's got the look. And he's WWE's guy, and... God damn it. It doesn't matter if it's a circle, you know, peg. It's going to fit in that square hole. Uh, and they're going to keep forcing it. And, like, the fans, man, like, they're torn. Just like John Cena, a guy who hasn't evolved since 1984. You know? Like, same vanilla character every day, every year. And, like, they feel the need to push these people. And it's alienating people like me even further. Here's my tweet, okay? I'm going to just read it real quick so that I get it right. Here's my tweet from after uh, after Fastlane tonight. WWE tweeted a picture of Bill Goldberg holding the world title. All right? And here's my tweet that I, it's it's currently pretty hot, man. It's got like, like 30 likes and like seven retweets. I think that's pretty good, all right? W at WWE. I've had WWE Network since day one, and honestly, and I'm honestly at the fuck it point where the ten bucks ain't worth it, and I'm going back to stealing streams. That is exactly what I wrote to them. Now, I'm being somewhat satirical, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm not going to cancel WWE Network because for ten dollars a month, I can live guilt free and not feel like I'm stealing. All right, because. That's what I used to do. I wasn't paying no 50 bucks a month for freaking pay-per-views. You got you got Royal Rumble out of me and you got WrestleMania out of me. That's all I was paying for. Maybe I would go to Hooters for like a Survivor Series or something. But there's no way I'm paying for Fastlane. If I paid for Fastlane tonight, I would have like... I would have called my, cre my credit card and had them block... Like, I would cancel my credit card. Like, block every charge. I would dispute everything. There is no way I would pay money for Fastlane tonight. Garbage show. Like, anytime we have Jinder Mahal in a match, a singles match, in the middle of a pay-per-view, this was a glorified episode of Monday Night Raw. And it was brutal. It was a terrible show. Like, nothing made sense. I was mentally prepared for Bailey to drop the title to Charlotte because God forbid anybody else look strong in the, the raw women's division. And she, not only does she win, but she should have been disqualified. Like the match didn't make sense. Okay. Like you're going to have Charlotte lose for the first time, the pay-per-view before WrestleMania. What? Like, and I'm like at the point where they've ruined Charlotte for me. When Charlotte came in, thought she was great, but like the whole, her whole attitude, it's like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. Like, I, I know that's the point. She's a heel. I get that. But like, that's the point. <laughs> that's why I'm not feeling it. You know, um, God, Bill Gold, like. I get the payoff is that, you know, Chris Jericho started walking down the ring and he distracted, you know, Kevin Owens. But really, like, that was where you need to do that. And you need to have a squash match to give Goldberg the title. Like, why, why does Kevin Owens have to look weak in everything that he does? All right. You know, they... This is a guy who came in. All right. And, and granted, they put the belt on him when we we all thought they were going to put it on Roman Reigns or that we all thought they were going to put it on Seth Rollins. When Triple H turned on Seth Rollins, one of the genuinely good moments of Monday Night Raw where everybody was like, whoa, didn't see that coming, got excited. Bill Goldberg winning the title tonight is stupid. It's stupid. Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar do not need a title 
for their match at WrestleMania. It's insulting to the people that work all year to show up and not have the opportunity to fight for the biggest title that they have in their company. Like that belongs to guys that are out there as full-time stars. All right. And Bill Goldberg doesn't want to do that anymore. And quite frankly, the WWE doesn't owe him shit. He was barely in the WWE. All right. They bought WCW. He did stuff for a company that no longer exists anymore. All right. Like Brock Lesnar. Okay. But he walked away on you like twice, you know, like at least, at least Lesnar has like made some like attempt at going on the road. But like, I don't understand. These guys don't want to do it for you all the time anymore. And yeah, they had big names. Yeah. I understand there are guys that paid dues, but how are the younger guys ever going to get better? Like, why couldn't Chris Jericho had his WrestleMania moment where him and Kevin Owens, they're clearly going to have a match at WrestleMania. Why can't that match be for the title? Anyone? You know, it could end with Chris Jericho getting one more world title. It could end with, you know, the master, you know, passing the torch to the student, you know? But no, we need Bill Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the world title. Like, the whole feud between those two has been putrid. It's been absolutely abysmal. It's been idiotic. It's been awful. Like, everything they've done with Goldberg since they brought him back has been pathetic. And I'm not even anti-Goldberg. Like I said, in 67, when, like, he jackhammered Hogan, like, totally marked out, all right? Like, back then, I was I was one of those, oh, the streak, the streak, you know? I was one of those guys, absolutely. But that was, like, 93 years ago. I don't... I don't get it. I just... I, I don't understand what this does, Okay? And I can't help but think back to CM Punk, man. Like, I will admit, I'm a massive CM Punk heart, like, you know, uh, mark, if you will, okay? I I just can't, I always think about his podcast that he did with Colt Cabana, all right? And, like, how are guys supposed to get better? Like, CM Punk doesn't have a main event at WrestleMania. Like, that's... That's kind of a big card to have, like a big feather to have in your cap, you know? Like, CM Punk doesn't have that, but you're going to just hand him off to fucking Goldberg? Who's done nothing for your company for years. And are people really, really spending an extra 10 bucks a month because of Bill Goldberg? Like, is he really making that much of a difference to their revenue? I guarantee WrestleMania is WrestleMania, all right? They don't need Bill Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the title to sell pay-per-views. People are going to buy it because it's WrestleMania. Like, it has that kind of cash right now, all right? Cachet, however you want to say it. It's, It's just... I don't want to invest any emotion into this anymore, you know? Like, when one of the comic comic book writers starts telling bad stories, I stop reading the book, you know? When a TV show gets lame, I stop watching the show. I, I barely watch Raw anymore. I don't watch SmackDown at all, and SmackDown is suspe- substantially better. Like, I'm at a point where I forget to even turn it on, you know? I don't get it. I... I I, I just, I just don't, and I can't, I'm baffled, and I have to be honest with you, man, like, I'm old, I'm, I'm getting old, and I had an old man moment tonight when that match started, I'm sitting on the couch, which you can't see, the dog's falling asleep on me, and I'm watching, and, you know, Kevin Owens comes out, and blah, 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 
And he rolls out of the ring when they're about to engage. And I'm like, oh, close my eyes for a second. And then I open them, what I thought was a second. And I open my eyes. And there's Bill Goldberg on my screen with the world title. I'm like, whoa, I closed my eyes for two seconds. What the heck? Apparently it was two minutes and I missed everything. It's stupid. It's dumb. And I don't want to do it anymore. Like I, I, I'm sincere when I say I want to go back to just stealing streams. The only reason I don't do it is because 10 bucks a month is worth it to just have a decent quality stream. I would pay that and not have to worry about 7,000 pop-ups fighting all the pop-ups and everything. Like, I'll be honest with you. Like I did that for years and I didn't feel good about it. Like I'm not usually that type of person, but like, I'm not going to pay that kind of money. And honestly, if I couldn't find a good stream, it wasn't the end of the world to just read the results on like no DQ.com or, or something after like, it wasn't that big of a deal. It really wasn't. I don't know, man. I'm tired. This is just taking a lot out of me. It's late and I don't want to deal with this anymore. I hate it. It's stupid. If you like the video, you can hit the like button or some shit. I don't care. I'm just disinterested. So, yeah. Um, other stuff happened. I mean, Jinder Mahal was on a match, like, in the middle of the event. Like, don't get me wrong. He looks great. He actually looks better than freaking Rusev. I mean, as far as, like, his physique and everything. But, like, he's Jinder Mahal. They haven't done anything to make him make anybody take him seriously. And he's in the middle of a freaking pay-per-view. I love New Day. I love New Day. All right? Like, they're my shit. But, like... They drive down a, a bicycle. It was bad. It was a bad segment for them. Like they said nothing. Like Biggie just tried to eat a refrigerator and sing like Notorious B.I.G. It was a bad segment for them. I mean, other matches happened. And I just, it doesn't make sense, man. And I don't even know why I'm making this video because it just happened and it's what I do. But, um, I don't know, man. It was boring. It's terrible. Bill Goldberg does not need a world title, like, at all. Universal title, whatever you want to call it. Really bad. So, thank you to all the people that are liking my tweet. I'll be here all night. Probably in bed, though, because I'm about to yawn again. So, bye. Have a nice day.